Okay, you could have the perfect 3D model and you could weight paint it absolutely perfectly, but if your bones aren't in the right place, it's gonna look terrible. Especially if you're modeling a female character. Everyone on the planet Earth knows what an attractive female body is supposed to look like, and if your bones are in weird places, people are gonna know. And it's gonna ruin the beautiful shape of your model that you worked so hard to create. But that's not gonna happen to you because you watched this video. Alright, let's do this. The first thing is click on your skeleton. Go to edit mode, and in the settings tab, check x-axis mirror. All this means is that when you adjust one side of the body, it automatically adjusts the other side as well. Okay, first basic rule is if you look from the front view, the leg and arm bones should be roughly in the middle of the model. They don't have to be perfect, but make sure that you check the arm and leg bones from the front, left, and top view. Once you do that, just make sure that the knees and elbows are in the middle of wherever you modeled the most points for your joints. Once you have done that, make sure the ankles start above the foot. Do not place the bones too low. Women's ankles are here, not here. Also, toes are shorter than you think. Don't place your toes too far back. It's really weird when you do. Now the hips. This is probably one of the most common mistakes that male modelers have when modeling women. Us guys, we like legs, and when we think of legs, we tend to think of the whole leg. I remember in my first rig, I placed the thigh bone way too high, and I couldn't figure out what the problem was. The hip bone should actually be very low lower than you think, so remember, here, not here. Now let's move to the spine. This is probably the biggest beginner mistake in the entire world. Remember, it's ideal to have three bones for your spine. Now I know what you're thinking, you're like, nah man, my skeleton's super realistic, and I'm gonna put like four or five bones in the spine. But just trust me on this, you only want three bones. I know this feels extremely weird and wrong, like it can't be true, but no, for real, women's bodies really only bend here, here, and here. Three lines, pelvis, stomach, and rib cage, just the way we have it. So try not to add any more spines than you need to, trust me. All right, what's next? Okay, boobs. <sighs> All right, let's just be honest. If you want a realistic animation, you've gotta put these bones here. It's not inappropriate, it's just physics. And uh, I don't know how much experience you have with boobs, but if you've ever noticed, boobs hang from the chest. They don't poke out of the chest. It's not like they grow from the chest. So if you want to be realistic-ish, the origin point of rotation should have a bit of an angle, not straightforward, but that's just my recommendation. Okay, collarbone. As a general rule, just align the collarbone with the middle of the arms. You cannot go wrong there. But where you can go wrong is the shoulders. Do not put the shoulders on top of and I really don't want this video to be all about boobs, but it's a good landmark. In my humble experience, the shoulder should extend about to the end of the side of her boobs. Got it? Okay, good. So yeah, here, not here. Okay, the neck should start above the collarbone, but below where the shoulders start to ramp up to the neck. So around here. And the head should start right above where the jaw ends. All right, and last, the hands. Finger bones should be traveling roughly down the middle of each finger. In my experience, it's best to place the joints of each finger a tiny bit behind the knuckles of your mesh. The thumb is a little weird, but just make sure that the first bone goes a bit to the side and the rest of the bones go through roughly the middle of it. And that should be it. You're done. Now that we know that your bones are in the right place, we can begin weight painting with confidence. You can always change these later, so don't worry if it's not perfect right now. Hope that helped. This is a topic I don't see a lot of tutorials talk about, but I really think it should be because it can easily screw up a beautiful model. So anyway, if you guys like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.